Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris from Brick Players Union, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how I build the traffic signals in my LEGO City. So, let's do it. Now, as my downtown continues to grow, that expansion means more buildings, and more buildings means more vehicle traffic. So, I thought it was time that I build some traffic signals for the downtown. Now, I have a few sets that have traffic signals in them, and most of them are pretty basic builds like this one here. Three headlight bricks stacked on top of each other, and three transparent colored studs to represent the bulbs. Now, this design is okay, but there are a few things about it that I'd like to improve upon. Now, the first one is that it's black, and I know there are traffic signals in real life that are black, but to me, the black just seems a little boring and plain, and not only that, the colors of the transparent studs don't show up as well on a black background. So I solved that problem by changing the black headlight bricks to yellow headlight bricks and the color looks a lot better but now it brings me to the next problem which is that the headlight bricks only allow you to have lights going in one direction. Well that's not exactly true because the headlight brick does have a square hole on the reverse side that does allow you to put in a stud backwards but it still doesn't solve the problem if you want a traffic light that has lights going in four directions. So I solved that problem by replacing the headlight brick with a one by one brick with studs on four sides. Now, even though that brick solved the problem of having lights in four directions, we're back at square one because Lego doesn't make that brick in yellow. Not only that, even if Lego did produce this brick in yellow, I don't think I would go with this as my final design because I just don't like the proportions of it. It seems a little too narrow and a little too tall for my liking, so I went back to the drawing board and came up with yet another design. So, this is a studs on side design that takes advantage of a little bit of Lego math. If you take two of the one by one bricks with the four studs on side and put two one by one plates between them, the math works out just right that the spacing between the two studs on the sides equals out to a one by three plate. So you can put a 1x3 plate on each side and then attach the 1x1 colored studs to the 1x3 plates. And when you repeat that on all four sides, this is the final product. And as you can see next to the previous design, it looks a lot better in proportion. Not quite as narrow and tall, and I think this design looks a lot better overall. So here are the parts needed to build the main body. It's a total of 21 parts overall, and if you look at the insert, you'll see how to put them all together. All right, now that we have our finished traffic signal, we need something to mount it on. So I've shown here a few of the many possibilities to do just that. Starting on the left is a simple post to mount it on, which does sit a little low. So next to that, I've raised it up on a few bricks, which makes it look a little bit better. Next is a pre-molded lamp post, which actually looks really good if you're going for a more fancy look. Next to that is one that I brick built using one by one cylinder bricks and a cone for the base. But in the end, I decided to go with the one by one by six column that has the round shaft and the square base. I think it looks perfect and it's just the right height and just the right shape for the traffic signals. So the next one shows it built with that base and the colored studs all the way around. But if you look at the one next to it, it gives it a more realistic look where just the bulbs that are lit up are built with colored studs and the bulbs that aren't lit are built using clear studs. So that one shows it with the red light in one direction and green light in the other direction. The one next to that shows it with red light and the yellow light on. And the one on the right end shows one that would either be malfunctioning or maybe is on the back of truck somewhere on its way to be installed or to replace a broken one. All right, that's going to do it for this one. I really hope this was helpful. And if it was, you can let me know by clicking the thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do. That will be greatly appreciated. And if you have a minute before you go, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And on that note, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.